Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk about the Apple Hardware Engineer interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at, and a bunch of tips for each round. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This video has been put together by Apple Hardware Engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates successfully and are available on the website for direct booking if you're looking for more personalized guidance. Right then, moving on to the interview. It typically consists of three rounds. First, a phone screen with the recruiter. Second, a technical phone screen with the hiring manager. And finally, the on-site interview, which includes a series of technical and behavioral interviews. Let's look at each round closely. The initial phone screen round is essentially a pre-screening interview that is used to go over your resume and assess your fit for the role. Three quick tips for this round. It usually begins with the old, so tell me about yourself prompt. So make sure you have a crisp and concise overview of yourself ready. Second, have a clear reason for why you're applying at Apple as well as why you think you'd succeed there. Lastly, be prepared to answer some basic questions on computer hardware fundamentals and more importantly, about any project work experience you've mentioned on your resume. Think ahead and narrow down specific anecdotes or concrete points you'd like to discuss. Basically, to give insight into what your contribution was, how things went and what you learned. Also, take this opportunity to ask the recruiter any questions you might have about the position or the upcoming process so there are no unwanted surprises. Right then, moving on to the second round, the technical phone screen with the hiring manager. This is typically a 30 minute format that covers your technical expertise and problem solving skills. Questions typically are both behavioral and technical. For instance, what is setup and hold time violation? Or walk me through a recent failure analysis you conducted and how you identified the root cause. The most important tip for this round is to prepare technical concepts thoroughly. This means everything related to the hardware engineering field from dialogue, analog, electronics, integrated circuits to system design, microcontrollers and microprocessors and so on. Next, it's important to give your interviewer enough evidence that you've got the basics nailed down and have ample experience to show for it. So when asked behavioral questions, Bring up instances where you've executed your technical expertise to solve problems in a demanding situation. If you succeed on this technical screen, you'll move on to the final round of on-site interviews, where you'll be facing multiple 20 to 30 minute rounds. You can inquire about the exact number of rounds with the recruiter. In any case, you should be well prepared for a diverse range of questions across this full day event. Broadly, you can expect the following two formats. First, the technical based interviews. These focus on a diverse range of subjects. For instance, it typically starts with hardware engineering concepts on microcontrollers, amplifiers, PCB circuits, ADC, DAC collaboration, etc. You will also be asked to solve specific digital design or engineering challenges, something like combo logic design or front end sanity checker tools. One of the rounds will be about your experience in the area that you're being interviewed for, like power, audio, etc. Don't make the mistake of believing that your interview will only involve questions related to hardware engineering. A recent candidate was asked to solve relatively tough leak code questions in 20 minutes. So be prepared to solve some typical leak code style questions or even aptitude tests related to logical thinking. Our number one tip is to practice as much as you can. Brush up on your fundamentals, look up commonly asked questions and practice effective answers to them. If you don't have prior experience, don't worry. Focus on explaining your side projects or internships better. As you can imagine, there's a tremendous ground to cover here. So we'd recommend participating in a technical style mock with an Apple hardware engineer. You can book some time with them on Prepfully. You will get the required practice and even get sound feedback on your performance. So it's a win-win. The next is the behavioral round where they will delve deep into your past experiences and how you've demonstrated results and impact in your previous roles. I have two tips for this round. First, expect to discuss in detail about your past projects and even map out the solutions you devised to solve complex problems. Focus on clearly articulating what you learned 
what value you created, how your technical skills translate into solving real world problems and so on. Next, they want to see if you fit into their culture, whether your vision aligns with Apple, what tools, processes, frameworks you work with, etc. So be prepared to provide granular explanations backed with specific examples. Again, you can practice this round with your friends or colleagues or go to a professional platform like Prepfully to get practice with any one of the Apple hardware engineers who have been mentoring hundreds of candidates. That's all from us. Lots of additional helpful resources in the description. Don't forget to check them out. And if you found the video helpful, do like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.